It's a lovely Saturday afternoon here. Got a interloping blue S10 in our driveway today. I have no idea where that came from. But I know if it sticks around, I'm either going to charge him a parking fee, or it looks like it could be well, just kind of ready for the farm. Kind of rusty. Oh well. well. That's not what today's video is about anyway. The key keeper and I got the fuel pump installed on this Reliant wagon. Wasn't a bad job. Wasn't bad at all. We had the whole thing done in about an hour while well, the next door neighbor fought for an eternity with his 89 Ford Mustang. Now, we got a fuel line leak, but it's not bad enough that it would preclude showing you how well this thing actually starts and runs now. Although because we're not getting quite the proper fuel pressure to the engine because of the leak, it does it does still have a bit of a miss in it. Anyway, this is a 2.5 liter Chrysler four-cylinder engine in an 88 Plymouth Reliant LE station wagon. Blessedly fuel injected. Anyway, Let's see here. We'll build some fuel pressure in the system. Okay, there we go. I got it running now. And it's actually running real good. Runs real smooth, no abnormal noises, no bad smoke. Like I say, the only thing that we had happen while we were doing this that was in any way undesirable was while with a key keeper and I were putting the fuel pump rubber hoses back in place, we bent an old, that didn't shut right, we bent an old rusty fuel line just a little bit too much. And so it's leaking a little bit of gas right now. So yeah, I'm not going to leave it run. I'm not going to leave it run for too long, but it's charging the battery. The radio's working good. It's going to be a good car when we get it up and going. I better put some gas in it, though. Anyway, I'm going to shut it off so we don't have a car fire here. But for those of you who want to see it run, there you have it.